Hey guys, Nestor Adrian Sen here again. I have great news for you today. My DAX Basics in Power BI Desktop is ready, my friends. I know I've been silent for a few weeks and there was a reason I was working on this course and I have a lot of knowledge there, my friends. As you might know, I've been working with Power BI for a while, with DAX for a few years, so everything is there. And I said the basics because the basics is everything. If we don't learn the basics, and we don't learn it very well, we're gonna be in trouble. So everything you have to learn about DAX is there, my friends. So let me walk you through the content real quick. As you can see here, if you go to Udemy, my course is live on Udemy, you will find this course called DAX Basics in Power BI Desktop. And like I said before, learn the basics in Power BI Desktop and learn it very well. I already have two students, but help me spread the knowledge around the world, my friends. I wanna have more students. And this is the opportunity to learn DAX from scratch. These are the chapters. The first chapter is just an introduction. We have here my introduction, what to expect in the course, we also have the DAX engines, critical here to learn about the formula and the storage engine, how these work to perform DAX calculations. Every chapter, almost every chapter has a quiz, two questions as you can see here. And then let's keep going. We have also introduction to DAX. We have more concepts here, really important. DAX best practices. Let's format our DAX code. If we don't do that, we're gonna be in trouble. Really important tip as well. And then you also have more information there. And at the end, also the quiz. Calculated columns versus measures, really important concept as well. Evaluation context, this is critical, my friends. We have filter context, raw context, and context transition. We also have here the key DAX functions. We don't have to learn everything. We have a lot of functions in Power BI, in DAX specifically, but you don't have to learn everything. As long as you learn the key functions, you're good to go, my friend. We also have variables in DAX, really important here to improve performance and debug your code. We also have time intelligence calculations to perform year over year calculations, period over period calculations, for example, it's right there. Tools to optimize DAX calculations, we have here Bravo and also DAX Studio. And then at the end, we also have virtual tables, really important concept as well. You may have been using virtual tables in your measures. Here are the details, my friend. We also have visual calculation. This is a different way to perform calculations, DAX calculations on visuals. And then at the end, we have also additional questions, three additional questions, theoretical questions, and then also a practice with two questions. If you are serious about learning DAX, this is the opportunity, my friend, learn the basics and learn it very well. And guess what, my friends, because I want my course to spread around the world, I don't want money to be an excuse, so I will give you guys a coupon. Please take a look at the description in the video. You will find a coupon there and take full advantage of that coupon. Just to give you more background about myself, I created another course here in the past in 2021. And this is also Power BI Desktop, the basics. Really good reviews there as well. There you have it, my friend. This is my second course, the DAX basics in Power BI Desktop. I hope you take full advantage of this. If so, see you in class, my friend. Thank you for your support.